exactly having me over for dinner, but I wasn't being tortured either. I will be monitoring everyone's vitals for signs of... Exactly. It's like... like... When someone insults you, you want to just... beat the shit out of them, sometimes. Uh, but you don't. <laughs> well, not quite what I was thinking, but that's actually a great example, Marcus. The man in the story was cruel. Do you know why he was cruel? You must feel what he feels. Understand his pain. Accept it and deliver it not back upon him. Empathy. You mean empathy. <laughs> but you say it like it's easy. Like anyone can... Keeper Aquilus, can we have a moment? Ah, oh, Mateo. It's been too long. How are your parents? Your mother's still struggling with that azalea garden? No, she figured that out a while ago. Had to adjust the pH levels in the soil. But, Keeper... I didn't come to catch up. Oh. Well, what's on both your minds? Oh. Yeah. How humanity comes together. Uh, how we are to love each other, even as our universe becomes even more complex. That's not exactly what we mean. Keeper, when you talk about unity, well... Does it mean anything else? Something... secret? Perhaps you should talk about this inside. Aquilus has helped me through some tough times lately. Now that we have a little privacy, why don't you tell me exactly what it is that brought you two here? They're like nothing we've ever seen, Keeper. Gravitational distortion, sub-audio harmonic sequencing, unidentifiable energy fluctuations. Uh, I caught half of that. So, these things are unusual? Even in your experience, there have always been mysteries that seem to defy our understanding of the universe. Beyond rational thought, we enter life as an act of someone else's faith in us. There's no way of knowing who we will become, and yet the risk is made anyway. So you've pushed into the unknown, not knowing where it would take you. And it's brought you here. I think I can. If you're willing to find your way in the dark for a bit longer, I can give you a path to discovering its meaning. There's an old story, far older than the Sanctum Universum, of someone who walked the settled systems and saw every corner of it. This pilgrim claimed he found the true meaning of unity. I always thought of it as just a parable for trying to bring humanity together, but Maybe it's more.
In my story, the pilgrim met the founders of the House of Enlightenment and the enigmatic cult of the Varun, and he gave them each a part of the truth. Then he goes to his final resting place to live out the rest of his days in contemplation of infinitum addendum, his addition or contribution to the infinite. But what if the story isn't a metaphor, but a code, a way of finding the pilgrim again, or at least his grave? Yes, something must be there. I just can't put my finger on it. Maybe the answer will become clear when we have more. The House of Enlightenment and Varun have versions of this story. The Enlightened work out of the well here in New Atlantis helping the poorest citizens find a better life for themselves. The rune worshippers are more enigmatic, but there is a lone zealot that was captured recently for attacking UC ships. I visited her a couple of times. Hopefully she'll be willing to talk to you as well. I'll stay here with the Keeper. We need to catch up. And I wouldn't mind asking him a few more questions. Hello. You hear about the job by any chance? Uh, the officer over there can help you with any bounty issues. Totally understand. But if you're looking to make some credits and serve the United Colonies at the same time, you just let me know. A visitor? I have all the company I need. He knows not the truth. He sends another to ask more incessant questions. The Great Serpent waits in the shadows. He will entwine the universe, and all but the faithful will be made as dust. That is the truth. No more. No less. It is not an answer, for there is no question. The Great Serpent will come. 
All concerns are meaningless in the face of the oblivion he will assuredly bring. You wish to speak of the Keeper's Pilgrim, do you not? I will tell you of him, and then you will leave. Jinan Varun meets the Unbeliever. He gives false prophecy to Jinan. But such is Jinan's conviction in the Great Serpent, he does not hesitate. He cuts the Unbeliever down. But the Unbeliever returns. Jinan realizes the Great Serpent is testing him, and he will not be found wanting. Four times they fight. Over 120 rotations of the planet they are on. Remember these four battles, Jinan, the Unbeliever says. Remember these 120 rotations. But Jinan knows this is blasphemy and delivers the killing blow. That is all. Strength and conviction show your worthiness to the Great Serpent. The kill is not as important as showing there is no doubt. I grow tired of speaking. Leave me. My mother wanted me to be a doctor. A doctor? If it's about the financial or food assistance programs, we are backlogged. Don't worry, we're doing everything we can. Oh, you're not. Sorry. Can I help you? Oh, sorry. I didn't. Good to meet you. How did you end up joining? A lot of atheists just stick to themselves, you know? Well, I hope you stayed for your own reasons. It's funny, you know, I think about our names sometimes. House of Enlightenment. It's supposed to be a callback to Age of Enlightenment, when humanity first began to see the universe through science, not superstition. But, of course, most people just think we're being condescending. Anyway, was there something else you needed? Listen, I've talked about this with him a ton of times, and there's no record of a Unity Pilgrim. But since you both insist, our early records are mostly administrative. Humanitarian projects, group counseling notes, charity expenditures. But there is a series of exchanges the founding members recorded in a lot of detail. It's the closest thing I have to what Aquilus is describing. A man walks into the first House of Enlightenment. The founding members just call him the Drifter. So they think he's a charity case at first, but no. The Drifter asks them a bunch of questions. If your philosophy is built on an individual's own morality, what about the second person? That second person might disagree. Isn't the problem of two what you're really looking for? And the founders respond, each individual must understand how the second person lifts them up. All of human effort is a story of cooperation pushing us forward. And it kind of goes on like that. He comes back every week for a year. Same conversation every time. Second person this, the problem of do that. Honestly, I think the founding members made it all up. There was a little more hesitation being openly atheist in the early days. 
I think they were experimenting with writing their own scripture. Fortunately, that got abandoned pretty quick. After the records of the Drifter end, you never see anything like it again. Besides what the Keeper would say about it, sounds like a gathering point, or a center. Or, in mathematics, it would mean one, like the one, the first or the beginning. Always happy to help. If you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of aid efforts to coordinate. Oh, hey, actually, hold up one second. You're part of the Enlightened, right? Yeah, little practical aid from your friends in the movement. Mess with me and I'll serve you my famous knuckle sandwich. <laughs> Even just the sound of his voice is... Well, you're back. What did you learn? Was there something hidden in their stories, like we thought? are often named by number. That second might mean the second planet in the system. What else did you learn? If there really is a location the Pilgrim wanted us to find, those do sound awfully like coordinates. Was there anything else? Yes. What he added to infinity. Maybe that points to a name. If we're looking for his resting place, 
We'd need to know the name of the star system, wouldn't we? Let's see. We have something that could be coordinates. Something that could point to a planet in a system. But what's the name of the system? Infinitum addendum. What if we break down the parts? No systems named finite or add. That just leaves in and dumb. <laughs> well, that's certainly how I feel. Yes, that's it. The second planet in Indum. At four and one hundred twenty. That's where you'll find the pilgrim's resting place. And from there, maybe you'll find the true meaning of unity. Before you go, you've now spoken to many different perspectives in our universe. In a way, you'll be carrying their philosophies with you on this journey. I know you're looking for a specific unity, but if you had to guess what it was, what interpretation would you give it? And once you know, what will you do? Even the most objective scientist holds the belief that observation itself will be of benefit to humanity. You will be taking a similar part of yourself with you when you find the answer. Will that not color your perception of it? So you're committed to keeping yourself from seeing unity as anything other than a rational objective, a goal you're bound to reach. Well, I won't keep you any longer. This has been fun, I have to admit. Go, find your truth. I'd heard of the sight of growing up.
about you, it's only fitting you should join us. I will personally guarantee your safety as long as you come in peace. And think of it as a ceasefire meeting. You're one shot at getting those answers you must desperately want. <laughs> <laughs>